Hey YouTube, it's Edmagician34 and I've brought you my Zebstrika control deck for uh, modified, well, more or less modified. Um, a few of the cards are about to cycle out, but uh, this will mostly still be modified legal, changes are easy to make. Um, I took this to my local recently, uh, just today in fact, and I went 3-1, so I felt pretty good about it. My only uh, loss was to a deck I already had a bad matchup against uh, with Landorus, you know, just uh, big basics leading Landorus. And uh, I had nothing but fighting weak pokes, so it was, uh, I got cleaned out real quick. But the whole deck basically um, revolves around Zebstrika. Uh, this particular Zebstrika is 90 HP, it's got free retreat, and for lightning and a colorless, it can do an attack called Disconnect, which is 40 damage, and it locks them out of playing items for their next turn. So it's kind of like, uh, like Gothitel. Only it's, uh, it's much more affordable, I guess, than the Gothitel deck, although both those decks are not that bad. Um... But what else is cool is just, I like the Zebstrika body, it's a lot of fun. Um, he also does have the second attack that, uh, for three energy, you can pitch all lightnings attached to it, and just deal 80 damage to any one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it's a nice little follow-up that could, uh, score you that last prize or two, like off an EX or something. So, uh, I really like the Zebstrika, I've had a lot of fun with it online, on, uh, Pokemon TCG Online. So I decided to try it in real life, and it did not let me down. Um, two out of my three wins, uh, were easily won by me getting a turn two Zebstrika up, and just spamming Disconnect over and over and over again. Um, locking them down whilst I built up things and just uh, basically controlled the game. Because I was the only one who could play my items. Um, but it runs three Zebstrika. And three Blitzel. Um, this Blitzel is about to rotate out, but obviously you can use another one. I just uh, prefer this Blitzel because of the agility attack. I think agility is uh, pretty nice. If you're in a tough spot, you might be able to use it to buy a turn or something. So I, uh, for that reason, I prefer that Blitzel, at least for now. Um... I run two copies of Me Too EX. Um, he just hits so hard. He can clean things out. We're running double colorless energies. Um, it's just a no-brainer. It's just such a solid Pokemon. Relatively easy to get. Um, I'm running one copy, just one, of uh, Keldeo EX. Um, I find that's enough. Uh, just, uh, you know, use this with the Floatstone, obviously. Keep rotating things to avoid, um, you know, getting smacked around by lasers and whatnot. Pretty standard now, actually. Um, I opted for two copies of Buffalo. Uh, you know, for all the obvious reasons, there's so many EXs out there right now. He can be a good lead. Um, he can buy those turns of setup if you need them. Um, and he can also be nice to fall back on, uh, when your opponent takes some stuff out. So, real solid guy there. Likes Floatstone, too. <laughs> and, um, these two slots, uh, I tried out the Kangaskhan today at my local league. They said it was okay to go ahead and try some of the new cards from the pre-release. Um, and Kangaskhan versus Emolga is kind of a challenging question for me. Obviously, Kangaskhan's got more HP. Um, and Comet Punch likes double colorless energy, but, uh, I've already got prolific fighting weakness in this deck, so in many ways I think I might want to go with Emolga over Kangaskhan. In many ways they do kind of just the same thing, uh, today. I never ended up Comet Punching anyway. Uh, so, it's, it's kind of an either-or, um, that you can go with to sort of see your meta, although personally I like the fighting resistance on Emolga. I think it makes it kind of outweigh in this particular deck. Um. But you can be the judge of that. I'm also running one copy of Zekrom. Um, main reason for this is, once again, it plays well with double colorless. And uh, actually, one person I just destroyed with this, uh, it was just a good switch in. And she was forced to attack. She was a little low on cards and couldn't do much about it. So um, she hit him, and then obviously that set me up for just the, the big outrage. So it's not a bad Pokemon, not a bad lead either. Um, that's it for the Pokemon. Going into the supporters, I'm running four Junipers. That... Really, I feel like that should be just every deck, pretty much. There's no reason not to run a bunch of Junipers. Uh, I'm running four copies of N. Um, he's great for Disruption. He's good with Disconnect. Um, and obviously, he gets you lots of cards early in the game when you got lots of prizes. Uh, so he lets you dig deep to stabilize and get that consistency you're looking for. Three copies of Skyla. There are lots of things to go looking for in this deck. And this deck likes to put the pressure on and also use uh, Laser and Furbank. So Skyla helps get you what you need to make it through. I'm um, also running two copies of Getsis. This guy goes really well with Disconnect because they can't play out their items. And then you get to Getsis them and, and, you know, you not only decimate their hand, but you also draw a bunch of cards for yourself. So he can be quite, quite good for you. I think the most I Getsis for today was four, but I, like, took their entire hand away when I did it. So felt really good when that happened. I'm um, also running two copies of Colrest. We have a pretty good proportion of basic Pokemon. Um, and a lot of people are kind of filling their benches up more and more these days, so I feel like Colrest is a pretty good option. Uh, he never let me down all day today, so. Uh, also, my ace spec is Dowsing Machine. There are lots of good ace specs out there. 
Um, but I think Dowsing Machine is really the way to go, because in the early game it has some possibilities, um, but in the late game it's sort of like a not-supporter Skyla. I mean, it just it digs for everything in your discard pile, and anything. So if you need a supporter to draw lots of cards, if you need, you know, so that's a Juniper, or you could go get, say, your end to disrupt your opponent, knock them down to, like, one or two cards if they've been leading so far. This gets you your uh, Catcher, it gets you your... Uh, laser, it gets you everything. Um, this card's just amazing. Its its versatility is really nice. Problem with computer search is, if it's not the first couple of turns, it gets kind of sad in the late game. So I like the uh, power of Dowsing Machine over that in the end. Plus, even in the early game, you know, you can play out your hand right before you Juniper, and, you know, this can help you, like, you know, double up on some card you played early. So I'm virtually never to see it, uh, sad to see it or anything. Running three Pokemon Catchers, I mean, this is more or less kind of self-explanatory, just controlling the opponent, keeping up, pushing it up. Running three Switches, we do have those uh, free retreating Zebstricas, and we do have those Float Stones and whatnot, but uh, we still want to run uh, the three Switches, because obviously if we get statted or something like that, or uh, Snorlax comes out, we might have some problems. There are those two Float Stones that I've been talking about for a while. We're running three Hypnotoxic Lasers. I feel like you could go to four, but I don't like drawing too many of them. Sometimes they can be uh, problematic. So three was comfy in this deck, and it worked. Um, only once today did I ever want it and like not already have access to it. Um, we have Burbank City Gym, also just the one copy. Obviously, you can Skyla for it. Um, only time that's a problem is if it's in your prizes, but you don't heavily rely on it, so you don't have to have to have it. Uh, I'm running two Ultra Balls. I'm still kind of getting back into the game, so I didn't actually have a third. Um, but two worked really well, and you got Skyla to go get them, so that, that all worked out. I was running uh, one kind of filler that was a Pokemon communication, but I thought, well, you know, you can Skyla for it if you need, and if your hand is kind of low in volume, sometimes this might actually be a little bit more economical than Ultra Ball. Um, and it, it never disappointed when I had it. It ended up working out just fine. I got one copy of Energy Search. Um, once again, this is like a Skyla option, part of your Skyla tool, toolbox, because um, we have a like an 11 energy count in this deck. So this can be a good way if you need energy, you can just go kind of force uh, force it, or if you have to, you can also Dazzling Machine for this, which doesn't suck. And on its worst day, it still kind of thins your deck out by one, which increases your uh, consistency, of course. Uh, we also have Energy Retrieval, uh, similar kind of thinking there. This can just dig in the grave instead. Oh, discard pile, you know what I mean. One copy of Super Rod to recycle things. You usually end up recycling Mewtwo EX. Kind of level with you. That's like the number one thing I get back, that and energies. I tried Silver Bangle today. But honestly, uh, I almost never ended up getting to use it. It just never ended up coming around. Um, the EXs just never got off the ground, or I was forced to discard it. It just never ended up working out. Um, but I like the possibility of it. I think I may run more in the future. It just kind of depends. And the energy is real straightforward. We got uh, four double colorless, because there's plenty of things that like to use it. Um, it's a good effect. And then we've got all these lovely uh, electric energies right here, these lightning energies, and that's seven. Uh, which brings your total energy count up to 11, and I never really got energy screwed or anything. It worked just fine. Uh, so yeah, that was a really fun deck. I enjoyed it. It, it worked well, and it's not uh, overly expensive or anything, so if you're getting back, it can be a cool way to uh, to kind of mess around and feel out the format. So, until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more cool gaming content.